I'm Pastor Ellie. And I'm Pastor Kurt. We're from Seven Seas Ministries. And welcome to today's video. We're going to call this one, What Do I Do? And that's based on uh, some scripture that we're going to read here in just a second. But David, uh, David was king and the Philistines were coming to attack. Mm -hmm. And David needed to know what it was that he was supposed to do. So he inquired of God and God gave him the answer. But let's go ahead and uh, Pastor Ellie's going to read here. First Chronicles 14, 8. Now when the Philistines heard that David had been anointed king over Israel, over all Israel, all the Philistines went up to search for David, and David heard of it and went out against them. Then the Philistines went and made a raid on the valley of Rephim. Rephim. And David inquired of God, saying, Shall I go up against the Philistines? Will you deliver them into my hands? The Lord said to him, Go up. For I will deliver them into your hand. In verse 11, So they went up to Baal Perazim, and David defeated them there. Then David said, God has broken through my enemies by my hand like a breakthrough of water. Therefore they called the name of that place Baal Perazim. And when they left their gods there, David gave a commandment, and they were burned with fire. In verse 13, Then the Philistines once again made a raid on the valley. Therefore David inquired again of God, and God said to him, You shall not go up after them. Circle around them and come upon them in front of the mulberry trees. And it shall be when you hear a sound of marching in the tops of the mulberry trees, then you shall go out to battle. For God has gone out before you to strike the camp of the Philistines. So in verse 16, So David did as God commanded him, and they drove back the army of the Philistines from Gibeon as far as Giza. Then the fame of David went out into all lands, and the Lord brought the fear of him upon all, all nations. So David asked God, what do I do? And, what do I do? <laughs> yep. And, you know, God was, God was very specific with David when it came to how to do the things that he wanted him to do. He didn't just say, well, you know, just trust me and go out there. He was very specific. And the thing that we need to remember about this is that God is still very specific. God hasn't changed. Mm -hmm. God doesn't do things any differently now than he did then. Mm -hmm. And even though David was the king of Israel and he was a man after God's heart, David was no different than us, you and I, mm -hmm. in the sense that he was a human being. Mm -hmm. He wasn't, you know, he didn't have this special communication channel with mm -hmm. God that nobody else can have. We can all have that. Mm -hmm. The difference may be in whether or not we choose to um, to follow God in that way. Mm -hmm. See, God called David a man after his own heart. Mm -hmm. And that's something that we should all seek. Mm -hmm. That's something that we should all pursue. Mm -hmm. Not to be like David, mm -hmm. but to have a heart that is after God, mm. to want God more than anything else in the whole world, anything mm -hmm. else in our lives. Mm -hmm. And when we reach that point, when we get to a point where we, we put God first mm -hmm. in everything and that our desires are solely after God, then we start to see mm -hmm. that, that we can, in fact, have that same communication, that same relationship with God that David had. Mm. And it's not a matter of being perfect. Mm -hmm. David was far from perfect. Right. You know, he made some pretty big messes. He did some stupid things. But so do we all. Mm -hmm. You know, we all make bad choices. We all do things that we shouldn't do and we get ourselves into messes. But God is still here. Mm -hmm. He's still willing to tell us what to do, how to handle it, mm -hmm. how to get out of the messes we're in, how to make choices to keep us out of messes. Mm -hmm. But we have to be willing not just to listen mm -hmm. and not just obey. See, we can listen, but if our heart isn't after God, it's going to be very, very hard for us to hear Him. Mm -hmm. There are so many things that can just catch our attention yeah. and so many things that pull on us mm -hmm. and try to keep us tight you know tight to those things where right. we need to be tight to god right that's right you know the concerns that we have sometimes can really come between us and mm -hmm. god they sure can you know if we're concerned maybe we lost 
you know, maybe we lost a position at work, or maybe we lost our home, or maybe mm -hmm. we lost someone mm -hmm. um, close to us, and yep. you know, something, a big change came, and we we had a loss. And instead of, you know, a lot of times we automatically go where we just worry about that. We think about mm -hmm. what, what could we have done differently? What could right. we have done? Maybe we could have done something differently. Maybe we could have done something, you know, else. But, you know, we get to that point where we just, we've got to just trust. We've yeah. got to trust. We've got mm -hmm. to trust that God is going to take care of whatever happened. Whatever we lost, He is going to help us to, to move forward and to mm -hmm. not get caught or hung up or stuck on that loss. Right. That we would just mm -hmm. put everything, you know, everything that we're concerned about at His feet. And just lay it down at His feet and, and let Him know, yes, you know, we lost this. It mm -hmm. hurts. It's hard. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't understand it. I don't know what's going on. How do I get past it? How can I get past this? Because it's it's holding me still. Yeah. It's holding me in a place where I don't want to be here anymore. I want to move forward. Mm -hmm. How do I get past it? And just trust God with whatever happened, whatever took place in your life that was devastating. Mm -hmm. Just trust Him and ask Him, what do I do? What do I do to get past this? Like David, how do I, do I go up against them? Do I go, right. do I, you know, what do I do? And you know, David could have just easily, the, the second time, he could have just easily done the same thing he did the first time and right. thought maybe he would win it again, but he didn't. He took the time and he went to God with his concerns yeah. and, and he asked him, what do I do? Yeah. What do I do, God? And God answered him. Right. And God will answer you, mm -hmm. and He will answer me, and He will move us forward. He will get us past that place mm -hmm. where we feel that we're stuck at, right. where we feel the enemy is trying to defeat us mm -hmm. and take us out. He will get us past that. We will come out victorious if we take what He tells us and we do it. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen? Do it the way He tells us right. to do it. Right. And the key is to make sure that we don't get caught in that that thinking that says, well, God did it this way last time. He's going to do it the same way again. Mm -hmm. Or he told me to do it this way last time. So I just need to do that same thing again. And mm -hmm. that is not, right. that's not how we need to be thinking. Mm -hmm. Because if we, if we spend time going through the word of God and watching how God moved in different situations with different people, or even different situations with the same people, it was almost always different mm -hmm. every time. Mm -hmm. When we when we look at God and how he dealt with the Israelites, mm -hmm. it was different every time. Yes. And with David, it was different every time. And mm -hmm. and you'll find that even in our own lives mm -hmm. that how things move, mm -hmm. how how God moves things mm -hmm. is going to be different just about every time. So it's really really important yes. that we do seek God and mm -hmm. that we get with him mm -hmm. and we don't move without getting his approval, mm. without getting his input, without getting his word. Yes. Amen. 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 And you know, that's not that's not to I don't say that like to cause us to get stuck and be afraid to move. Right. But if we're if we're contemplating a very big move in our lives or if like you were talking about we're we're already stuck because something has happened and we don't know how to move forward. God will show us. Yes. He's faithful to show us mm -hmm. how to move forward. Yes. Will it always come in some, you know, supernatural way like, you know, clouds opening up and and God's voice rumbling and telling us what to do? No. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, that's a rarity. That's that very rarely happens, but God gives us his word. He gives us prayer. Mm -hmm. He gives us many things. Sometimes God will still use dreams yes. to show us what to do. Mm -hmm. Interpreting them can be a little difficult sometimes, so be very careful with them, but God still speaks in those ways. Mm -hmm. So, you know, God is not in this little container that says, I only move this way. Mm -hmm. So God still moves, He still speaks, and He still wants to lead us. Yes. We just have to trust Him. Yes. Amen. 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 So let's pray and we'll wrap this up. Father God, we thank You that You can still be trusted. We thank you that you still lead us, that you are the same yesterday, today, and forever. God, you have not changed. You have not suddenly said, oh, I think today uh, I'm not going to do that anymore. But God, you are the foundation yes. that our lives are built on. Yes. And you are solid. 
You do not waver. You do not change. You don't, you don't just suddenly change your mind about something and say, no, I'm not going to do that anymore. We thank you, God, that you are that foundation. We thank you, God, that we can always go to you. And we never go there and find that you've left us, but you are faithful in all things. God, help us learn to trust you. Help us learn to go to you when we need answers. Father, because your answers are the right answers. Your answers are the best answers. We can get answers from other people, but God, you give us the right answers. So help us to go to you, to press into you, to lean on you, Mm -hmm. and to ask of you just like David did. Father, we give you praise and honor and glory for who you are, for all that you've done, for all that you're going to do. We worship you, God, because you are the one true God. Yes, you are. We love you with all of our hearts. Father God, teach us to love you even more and to put you first in all things. And we pray in the precious, mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 We love you guys. We love you. We hope this will help put some things in motion, set some things in motion. If you're stuck, let God show you how to get out. Yes. Um, you know, we've been there. We've been stuck at times in the past, and God was always faithful to show us how to get out. Yes. Was it always the way we thought? No. Nope. <laughs> almost, almost never. Um, but that's why God is God, and that's we're right. not. Because, yes, right. you know, we as human beings, we always think, Things have to happen a certain way, yes. but God knows better. <laughs> so you guys enjoy the rest of your day. And until the next video, you take care, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.